All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Raka Kodash. Shalom to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. Shalom to the elect. Now, I wanted to go into this real quick because the Lord is shaking, shaking this place, man. Okay, he's making up his jewels, he's shaking this place, tearing down, tearing away, building up. Okay, so joining in and breaking away, making known his true jewels. Okay, Hassad, etc. Now he's alone and others. All right, and this is what happens when the Spirit of the Lord departs from individuals, right? Because at first you see. Because I remember, oh yeah, there was a video that I think Apostle Elder Tahar did, where are they now, right? And a brother was talking about ITR and all these individuals. The, you know, this is all spoken about in the scriptures, that these individuals shall come up, be hot for a minute, and then burn out, all right? Because truly and really, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is not dealing with them, you know? Though they come in for a minute, they know they're Israelites, Shalom, hey, I, da, 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 learn the Hebrew, this and that. But the Lord takes that all away from them and then returns them back into the world. They had a job to do. They did their job, which was to get the, you know, the name out there and the name of Israel, or Slaki, the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the name of Israel, okay, who, who we are. And then he retrieves that from them, right, like takes it back. Because the Lord can use an individual to bring individuals in and then knock that same individual out and gone back into the world, right? He can bring one, he can make one bring in a thousand. And the very same one that brought in a thousand, he could say, hey, this was a bad fish. I just, you know, the Lord said that the deceived and the deceiver is, okay? And at the end of the year, day and week, it's the Lord's movie, okay? So this is why we pray in Psalms chapter 51. Slakia. Chapter 51 and verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because once that happens, you start, you know, walking around in the world lost. Okay? You start walking around the world like your mind's all Googled. see here Matthew chapter 7 oops 7 20, 20, 23 yep Matthew chapter 7 verse uh, 22 23 many will say unto me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have we have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay? And this is very scary. When the Lord takes his spirit away from you, and you think you're still doing something out there, or, you know, you just fighting to keep a name, or, you know, the apostle elders may have made a video about you, and, you know, like in the case of Hassad and the rest of these guys, they might try to keep doing this to, to because of their ego and their pride okay but this is what's gonna happen in that day the lord is gonna say hey, get the fuck away from me man you you thought you were riding with me but you were really riding against me okay so the lord is making up his true true jewels man he's making up the ones that are actually gonna pronounce the, his word properly okay gonna give out the true Understanding or uh, slaki the true words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to the people instead of trying to twist it, add your own little two cents in there and receive five cents later, ten cents later. You know, we don't put out this word with usury, meaning we don't go to, to YouTube and you got this thing flashing around, you know, please donate, please donate every fucking minute like that. Hey, what Yahweh Hashem Yahushua blessed us with. Which is this word, this gift, that's good enough, man. It tells you to be content with what you got, man. But these guys want gain. They think that gain is godliness, which is not, man. The scriptures clearly tell you that. You know? 
So in that day, a lot of these individuals, they're going to be uh, uh, mash, they're going to be wailing and mashing their teeth, man. The Lord strictly command us, go out there, preach the word. Okay, the 100% truth, man. Eat this roll. Don't twist it. Don't try to bind it some other fucking way. Teach that 100% truth. Look for the lost sheep. Look for the elect. And what are these guys doing? Opposite. The complete opposite, man. So anyways, those who are like wood are getting burnt up. And those like gold refined, okay? Because the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai is as a fire. Okay, and you can't you can't toy, because Hebrews four and twelve this gets right up in the joints and marrow, man, and it, it it shows the intent of the heart, man. So you try to fake the funk, you can't fake the funk. You maybe for a little while over here, maybe for a little while over there, but us brothers we gonna smell it out, and we were like, hey man, you notice that? <laughs> Jeremiah chapter five and verse fourteen. Wherefore thus saith the whole power. Of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Even Jeremiah said that it was as a fire in his belly. Okay, let me see something real quick. Let me see something. Yep, because I was burning fire shut up in my bones. Yep, so. This is what we're supposed to do. Go here and push forth this word, man. Push forth this word, man. Don't toy with, with your whole boss, your man, Shai's word, man. Because a lot of these guys are coming out here with their fucking gimmicks. And they're as wood. They're getting bun, bun up by the true word of your whole boss, your man, Shai. Remember, it shows your clear, it shows your intentions, man. And as James and Jambres always withstood the truth, right? Your intentions, your intentions and your folly gonna be made known to men, man. Everybody gonna see, everybody gonna know, okay? And you shall proceed no further. This is why we're seeing most of these camps breaking apart, crumbling, okay? Israelite tried and refined, you know, the, the uh, Chirac, I think, I can't remember, it was some Chirac crew and New Jersey guys, right? And what happened to them? They just fell apart like 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 chicken bones in a hot extremely hot soup for a long time it just falls off the bone you know so going back into this <laughs> Matthew chapter 3 and 11 I indeed baptize you with water I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay. So this word is likened unto a fire. Okay. And it is burning down the society. Okay. You see how it's a, uh, uh, you see how these people are acting now today. All the veils are being burnt down by the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Niggas are being burnt up by the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, what's wrong with these people and they're fucking like... the fuck is wrong with these people, man? Fucking dickhead. I hate these fucking people. May Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai destroy these wicked ass niggas, man. I'm sitting in my car and a fucking car comes up the street and it turns on the high beams purposely. Trying to shine him in my eye. Yeah, but shimmy, I'll shy. Send that nigga into a fucking crash. Fly him off a hill and destroy his fucking ass, man. Fucking son of a bitch, man. I hate niggas like that, man. I hate niggas, period, man. Fucking disgusting, disgusting, disgusting breed, man. May all by shimmy, I'll shy. Destroy you, man. So going back into this. You know, all these individuals out here that are uh, fronting, acting, hypocrites, you know, being actors, Lord is going to, uh, you know, they're going to be shown, right? They're going to bubble to the surface, man. 
Because the word of Yahweh Shem Yahusha is truly not with them. Okay? And the Lord is really making up the ones who are actually telling the truth, you know, speaking to the according to the words that he has commanded for them to speak. Those are the ones that he, he's making up his jewels, man. Okay? Those are the ones more than likely are part of the elect. Okay? That's why we always say, Lord willing, that, you know, we be of that number. Okay? So going back into this, uh, uh, Amos uh, chapter 9 and verse 8, Behold, the eyes of Yahweh power are upon the sinful kingdom and will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In, in that day I will rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and will close up the breaches thereof, and I will rise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Eden of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name saith Yahweh saith Yahweh that do, doeth this okay so right now the Lord is searching Jerusalem with candles okay searching the whole house of Israel to find you know his elect, building up his elect. And all the sinners of my people, you know, the two-thirds, and even uh, you got uh, some of these teachers out here telling you, no, don't worry, Jacob's trouble's not going to happen, this and that, blah, blah, blah. All them going to die by the sword because they false prophets, okay? So the Lord is raising up the tabernacle of David, right? The ones who are speaking the truth, all right? The 100% truth, I might add, Right? And what? Closing up the breaches thereof. So he's making up he, he's making up his jewels. Okay? He's putting a separation between those that serve him and those that serve their own fucking belly. Alright? And it's being made known. And uh, I mean when you go to the videos and you watch these other camps, man, it, it's a sad story, man. People telling people you can have sex on the Sabbath. People telling you you could you could do sodomy. You know, these guys with the long fucking dreadlocks and, you know, shave ups and, hey, man, it's looking pretty bad for these other camps out here, man. And you could clearly see who Yahweh Shem Yahusha is dealing with. You know, not no ass kissing, not no flattery, nothing like that. You could clearly see by doctrine who Yahweh Shem Yahusha is dealing with, okay? That's why we give double honors to the apostle elders of Green Millstone, because they haven't swerved. They're worthy of their double honors. They didn't throw a two cent in there, or one cent in there. You know what I mean? They didn't try to pull some kind of scheme with the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. This is the way it is. Give it straight. And that's what they did. Okay? That's what they've been doing. You know? Zephaniah 1 and uh, 12. And it shall come to pass at that, and it shall come to pass at, at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are set on, that are set on their lees that say in their heart, the Lord, uh, that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. Okay. A lot of these guys, you know, you see them, the donation shit on their screen, they wax fat. They got a bunch of pride too. And the doctrine that they're setting forth is, is you know, it's like Christian mixed doctrine. Universalism. God is all love type shit. Just keep the laws, just keep the laws, you know, making men to commit adultery. Making women to commit adultery. Okay? These are the same individuals. 
Your whole boy Shimmy O'Shea is talking about. Okay? You're going to search the house with candles and find... Oh, look at this nigga. Feet up. Resting. This is how these individuals teach, man. They make light of the situation. When it's not light, it's danger, danger, danger. Okay? And, yeah, they say, you know, don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. Jacob's trouble. This won't happen. That won't happen. Well, by your words, man, you're going you gonna, you gonna, you gonna to perish by those words, man. Because you're not telling the truth. Okay? <laughs> Acts chapter 5 and verse 38. Now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. And that's what you've seen a lot with these camps. Their work is of men and is coming to naught. It's crumbling right before our eyes. Okay? But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Least happily be found even to fight against God. And you're not overthrowing this truth. Okay? This 100% truth that's in the house of GMS. Okay, you're not overthrowing this. Because everything that the apostle elders have told us, setting forth for prophecy, guess what? We're seeing it. Okay? Guess what? It's happening. It's right before our fucking eyes. The MOTB, everything. All these guys talking about the MOTB is something spiritual. Are you fucking crazy? You know, hey, man. Call Halal Yimmy Ao Bashim Yao Shai Bashim Rakako Dash that I didn't end up in some other camp, man. <laughs> hey, man. The water Yao Bashim Yao Shai for giving me that 100% truth, man. The water. Via the way of what? The elder apostles of GMS, the elders, and the Akim, you know, the rest of the brothers that teach that 100% truth, which I have learned from, man. Wow. Wow, 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 man. Because you truly see him. What's happening today, man? <laughs> you can truly see, okay? Those that have this 100% truth, you can truly see what's happening, man. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse uh, 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder, rewarder of them that diligently seek him, okay? And a part of diligently seeking him is having that hundred percent truth, figuring out these things, being more noble, diving into the scriptures and figuring out what's what. But the most important thing, dealing with Sakari and and this faith thing, they don't have faith, man. They fight against faith. You see these individuals at camp with, with fucking M16s, ARs, big guns, okay, five five six, two two threes. These these guys ain't playing, okay. But why you why why you you know you should know that Psalm chapter thirty seven for uh, verse thirty four and thirty uh, verse thirty four and seven says what it says man the angels of Yahweh Shemel Shai encampeth around them that fear that fear that fear the Lord and you guys do not fear Yahweh Shemel Shai man talking all that smack about Paul and then reading Paul's letters when it conveniently fits you in your argument. Come on, man. And 2 Corinthians, you know, everything is right here, you know. You have no fucking excuse. Everything is right here, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight, man. And a lot of you individuals, you out there with those guns. Them fucking guns on your hip and, you know. You're doing the work of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You living, walking in that, you know, in that stead. You shouldn't be fearing, man. You shouldn't fret yourself because of man. Which shows a lack of faith. Okay? And we say, hey, pray that Yahweh Bashim El Shai don't take his Holy Spirit from you because those things start to creep up on you. Okay? I mean, it's natural, but those things start to creep up on you. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. And we walk by faith, man. We have to have faith to play, please Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay? But you individuals walking out there with no faith, man. You're acting very fucking carnal. 
And the, the, the individuals that the Lord is dealing with, they're going to have that faith. They're going to be, you know, walking as stead. Okay? Just like the prophets of old did, man. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And right now, we're declaring that 100% through truth. Okay? Because it says what? And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. So somebody got that 100% truth out here. Okay? And with the 100% truth, you start seeing things happening. This is why the Lord said that he's making up his jewels. He, 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 he's he, got his men. Okay? I reserve what? 7,000 that shall not bow the knee to Baal. Okay? The man, ha the uh, Salakia Yahweh has his men. Yahweh Shem Yahushai has his men. They are going to stand 10 toes down stiffly. Okay? And what else? I want to get something else first. John. Oh, yeah, yeah. Malachi chapter 3 and uh, 16. Then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another. And Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And a, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. These other guys don't make. Oh, these guys, Christ, Christ, JC, Christ, all this bullshit. That's a disrespect. You holding the Bible and you saying that, that's a disrespect, man. Like the guy at camp got it real quick. I said, why do you have to translate the name? And the man stood there and he's like, wait, hold up. You don't have to translate no name. And I said, exactly. Doesn't matter if your name is in French, Indian, Greek, whatever the fuck. When you say it, you say it. That's your name. Your name is Tom. You go to fucking France. They go, je m'appelle, je m'appelle Tom. That's it. What you come see, come sa? <laughs> you know? So what, what, what's the problem? You go to India. You go, anybody's name is Tom. You go to India, French, any fucking where in the world. And they go, Ooga -booga, da -da 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 -da. What's, what, you know, they talk in the language and they say, what's this man's name? And the translator goes, they want to know your name. And you say, Tom. They go, Tom, 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 Tom. Okay, good. They can hardly say, okay, cool. They, they'll fix it up in a couple days, whatever. They'll get used to it. But there's no need for fucking them to say, his name is Tom. Okay, so well, how's their vol points made up? Like, no. So anyways... And the ones that the Lord is hearing is the ones with the 100% truth, okay? Meaning, he hears the rest of the false prophets. He, he hears what's going on, what's coming out, the junk that's coming out of their mouth. He sees their actions, right? He sees their hypocrisy, right? They're acting and all not and all what. But the ones that he's, you know, attentive to and answers their prayers is the ones who have that 100% truth, Okay? And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I when I make up my jewels, and I will spear them as a man speareth his own son that serveth him. Okay. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. And we see you individuals serving your own belly. You're not serving Yahweh Bashim Shai. You love pleasure more than the creator. Okay? Oh, make up my jewels and I will spear them. Okay? Because why? There, there's preaching 100% truth. As a man speareth his own son that ser serveth him, man. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. So you have the 100% truth. You got faith. Continue on, brothers. Continue on. Don't, don't let these uh, doubt demons... Um, uh, uh, um, what we call uh, depression demons? Don't let none of those demons stick with your brothers. It tells you that Th Thessalonians, those that be troubled, rest with us. Also, comfort one another with these words, right? 
So, you know, we, we, we have that ability to discern between truth and falsehood because we have the 100% truth. First John chapter 4 and verse 6, this is why the brothers say we could be anywhere in the world. We don't care. Once we hear you and we analyze what's going on, we see, you know, a couple videos, this and that. Like, yeah, 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 something's up with this brother. Something's going on with that individual, you know? And 10 times out of 10, we're more than likely right because it's through the spirit, okay? It's not our own vain opinions. It's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. First John chapter 4 and 6, We have God, he that knoweth God, heareth us. He that is not of God, heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. It's straight to the point. I ain't got to break that down. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We are of God. Second Corinthians tells you, 1 Corinthians 2 and 10 says it all right there. Okay? You can't jump past that. Jeremiah chapter 23 and 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have get, driven them. And I will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. The Lord is doing a gathering right now, okay? And he's making a separation between those who serve him and those who serve their own fucking belly, okay? Those who are out there bullshitting and those who are actually, you know, who've ate the role and giving out that 100% truth. Who are not trying to toy with his word, make money off it, make merchandise. The Lord said that he going to spear them, Okay? So going back into this, Micah chapter 2 and 12, I will surely assemble, I will, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all, all of thee, all of thee, Salakia, I will surely gra gather the remnant of Israel, I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, as a flock in the midst of, of their fold, they shall they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. Okay. Slaki, that was not the one I wanted, but let me go back into this. First Peter. Two five and nine. Yep. First Peter chapter 2 and 5. He also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? And that's, you know, slack here. If we are out there talking skunt, Right? Instead of talking 100% truth, forget about it. The Lord wouldn't be dealing with us, man. You see us start to fall apart while dealing with, uh, you know, the apostle elders of Green Millstone, right? But you see, you see the gain, spiritual gain that's happening over the years with, with the apostle elders. They've been in this truth for uh, over 40 plus years, man. Okay? And indeed, they're lively stones. They're the precious jewels that the Lord is, you know, keeping close. Because what? They've been teaching 100% truth, man. They haven't been toying with the word of Yahweh Shem Yoshai. They haven't been mixing it. They haven't been trying to make, you know, money. Or, or you know, off of the word of Yahweh Shem Yoshai. They haven't been doing none of that. They've been out there preaching this word in all 100% truth okay so going back into this year he also as lively stones right he has precious jewels on to Yahweh Shem Yoshai okay are built up a spiritual house and that's what we're doing right now that's why you see a lot of these guys they re rejected the cornerstone which the chief cornerstone which is who Yahweh Shai right as James and Jambres always resist the truth, right? Okay. 
and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. And what were we supposed to do? Romans chapter 12, right? Tells you what we're supposed to do. Actually, let me get into it instead of just trying to um, quote it. Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So when we're going out there on the highways, byways, and making videos like this, you know, this is a oh, book that I knew something was crawling on me, man. I just felt so slacky, Akio. Felt something crawling on me, man. I'm like bug season soon winter time come on bug season god okay and the holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to yahweh shai by uh, uh yahweh acceptable to yahweh by yahweh shai hamashiach slakia so what are we doing when we go out there we're making our body a a, a, a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto yahweh by shimmy shai and we're preaching that what? That 100% truth. And the, like I said, the apostle elders have been out there for over 40 years. Solid. If they weren't preaching 100% truth, that would have done fall apart. Acts chapter 5, verse 38. If they were of men, it would be come to naught. But it is not of men. It is of the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay? So going back into this. Uh, verse 9 But ye are chosen generation A royal priesthood And holy nation and A peculiar people That ye should show forth The praises of him Who have called you out of Darkness Into his marvelous light Okay So that's what we're doing right now Alright Oh wait Verse 8 And a stone of Of An and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient whereon too also they were appointed I should have read through the whole thing Salakia, but you get the picture okay because I already uh, you know um, went through that they rejected Yahweh Shai that chief cornerstone okay so now this truth to them is as a, a stumbling block, man. Okay. And like I said, James and Jambres, they always resist the truth, right? So that was their, they were appointed to that anyways, as the scriptures is telling us right here. But it says that ye are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, okay? And we're out there presenting this 100% truth to these people to let them know, hey, this is what it is, man. This is what the Lord wants. This is what he's happy with. Well, like I said, it's an offense to many. Because they rejected and refused Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay? Well, they're appointed to that anyway. So, you know. So anyways, this goes back into joining in and breaking away. Because the Lord is making up his jewels. This is why the brothers were extending their hand to all, all brothers in such a case, you know. They're out there pushing the word by themselves, right? And teaching 100% truth, right? The same thing, right? So they're extending them, their hand to them to come in and join in, man. The Lord is building up his house, right? So what do you want to go, you know? And Lord will, this week here, I could go to the brothers, you know, this camp session here, to the brothers here in GMS Toronto, you know? And that's it, man. It's a it's a joining in joining in and a breaking away happening, man. All these camps right now are, are you know, a lot of them they're falling apart. You know, you're not seeing them as much no more. Right? So hey, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Roka Kodash. Shalom to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to Allah, Akim, doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Lord willing, to the next time, 
Wow.